Hi, I'm Alex from the Southern Ukulele Store, and today's video is long overdue. We're going to take a fresh look at Uma ukuleles, focusing on five of their most popular tenor ukes. So, Uma are one of the Far East's biggest ukulele brands. They're kind of like the Carla of Taiwan, if that makes sense. You know, everyone knows Carla in the West, and Uma are as big in their own way in a, a, another part of the world. Um, we first saw them at the NAM show. The first uke we're going to look at was the model that instantly drew me in. But in recent years, they've been bought into the UK and they've had a few dealers and we've always found them to be just consistent. I don't think I've ever returned a ukulele, failed one on a quality check. I think they just come in and we give them a setup and we go, Mwah, chef's kiss, and we send it out. It's like a, like a mini Michelin star of affordable ukulele. So the five ukes we're going to look at here are all tenor size today. I'm looking through my system, the back end system. These are the five most popular Umas we sell other than the pineapples that I featured in a previous video recently. So first of all, we're gonna look at the Moon ST. The Moon ST is a very affordable solid top ukulele. So solid mahogany top with laminate mahogany back and sides. It's a high gloss finish with front and back binding, a maple rosette, and then a very strange, I've never really been able to understand, like the, the half moon, kind of semi moon, uh, maple inlay here. This isn't an armrest, it's just an inlay. Um, but people love how this ukulele looks. I was drawn to this ukulele on first sight as well, with a high gloss finish on the neck and a 35 mil nut width uh, on a traditional style headstock with uh, closed gear tuners. It comes in a nice gig bag, but if you're after your first serious ukulele, really, um, compared to what else is out there, really, you've got this and the Flight Iris as I think the two ukuleles that people come in the shop every day and they go, well, I really like this. You know, that kind of Carabo light, under £200, something to get you going if you're new to the ukulele. Let's give the Moon ST a play and see what you think. Next up today, if the Moon style inlays aren't your bag, for the same kind of price you have the Uma UK 17 ST. This has a much more kind of breed love-esque uh, modern sunburst finish to it. So you've got the kind of brown um, top there with an outer rim that's an amber color getting darker to the binding. This is a solid mahogany top as well. So the same spec as the Moon ST, but a very different look. It does have a cutaway as well for upper fret access. Although obviously when I do my sound samples, it's useless to me, but for you folks at home that play it like this, it's gonna be absolutely great. Laminate mahogany back and sides. You've still got front and back black binding there. It's still a gloss neck and it's a 35 mil nut width. There are different tuners on this model. They are open gear black tuners. I think I actually prefer these to the ones that come on the Moon ST. Um, and I love a bit of rope binding. You, it's very subtle. I'll do a good close up of it, but you have here some really lovely rope binding as well on the front of this ukulele, which for me is is enough. Sometimes you just want that little thing that you go, yeah, I like that. That That's the thing about this ukulele for me. Comes in a padded gig bag as do all the Umas. Um, and it's another great option for someone out there looking for their first kind of good ukulele if they've maybe started on something under a hundred pound or someone looking for a great starter ukulele. This is kind of the top end of what you would need to spend to get kind of the best beginners ukulele slash intermediate. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Let's give the UK 17 ST a play and see what you think. Thank you. 
Next up today, we have the UMA UK 16 ST. The UK 16 ST is quite different to the other two we've looked at so far in this video. It has a solid spruce top with laminate acacia back and sides. Still has front and back binding and a really nice um, faux abalone rosette. Um, but it also has a satin finish, making it much more, um, a very different response ukulele. Like when you play this ukulele, you're going to get a bit more of a darker sound to it. It's going to be far less bright, but the spruce top should give it a bit more projection. Does that make sense? You have a technical wood fingerboard and bridge, still with a 35mm nut width and black open gear tuners on this ukulele. Uh, the mountaintop style inlays at the 12th fret are very, very cool as well and make it feel just a bit more modern than uh, some of the more traditional ukuleles we've looked at so far today. This model is also available as the UK 16 ST EQ, which has a pickup with a side panel volume and tone control. Um, but this is the acoustic model. Let's give this one a play for you now and see what you think. We're going to move up slightly in price now. If you imagine we're moving up about 20% in price, what we have here is the UMA UK20 ST. The UK20 ST is all solid wood, so you're moving from a solid top with the previous models to all solid. Still a gloss finish here, but you've also got some differences up here. It's a slotted headstock and a 38mm nut whip. So if you need a wider nut whip with a 30mm string spacing, you need more um, width on the fingerboard for your fingers, this is the one for you. The neck is different as well. The other ones are quite a deep C shape, whereas this is a much more slender depth to the neck with a wide fingerboard. So if you're a finger picker, that extra bit of price, that extra bit on top of the price might actually really benefit you in terms of playability. It's still a technical wood fingerboard and bridge on this ukulele and it still comes with a gig bag. But the UK 20 ST is definitely the next step up into kind of a more serious instrument by UMA. Let's give the UK 20 ST a play and see what you think. The final uke we're going to look at today is so visually impressive, I feel like it deserves a video of all of its own, but this is the UMA UK30 ST EVO. I believe it's part of UMA's Evolution line, it's the next step up. This ukulele is all solid acacia, um, just covered in bling and trim. You've got that big maple rosette there, front abalone binding with the black binding, um, rear black binding as well. They all look very good. We try and photograph these individually because they all look so special and so sexy. And quite often, I, I find our photos don't do them justice because if you, if you shine a bright light on these ukuleles, there's just so many hidden depths to the acacia. Acacia is a much more Hawaiian sounding wood. Koa itself is actually a derivative of acacia. It's a type of acacia grown exclusively in Hawaii. So the sound of this ukulele, if you're a strummer, it's going to be a really sweet uh, introverted accompaniment to your voice. If you're a finger picker, you're going to get a much more smooth experience than you would with say a spruce top or a cedar top. Technical wood fingerboard and bridge with the 38mm nut width and the slotted headstock with the open gear tuners. It's been a while since I've explained the difference between a normal headstock and a slotted headstock and why you might choose one over the other for practical reasons. A normal headstock where the um, 
strings go through the top and you tune at the side. Yes, it's easier to restring, it's easier to kind of get right. The slotted headstock takes a bit more time, but the point behind it is the torque it puts on the string. As the string travels through the nut, a slotted headstock will pull the string back at a tighter angle, which creates a bit more um, tension on the strings. So a slotted headstock ukulele, in theory, gives you a much more um, taut experience on the fingerboard. Strings will feel tighter and they will project and they will um, resonate for longer. So if you were to have a normal paddle headstock, you will see a marginal difference in that. I've made some videos about it years and years ago, probably before we even had kind of a fairly good setup with the camera and the microphones, etc. But it's worth digging back through our old videos and finding that video if you want more information on that. We did a few AB examples. If I can find the video, I'll put a link in the description. For now, though, let's give the UK30 ST Evo a play and see what you think. <laughs> 